I'm never what you wanted, Father. Dorian, please. If you'll only listen to me. Yes, Father. Talk to me. Let me hear how mystified you are by my anger. Dorian, you said I could ask you questions. It's true. I did say that. Why are you so angry at your father? He wants to help, and you know he does, but... I'm not certain I can explain it to you. You love him, but you're angry. They mix together, boiling in the belly until it kneads into a knot. Sometimes... Sometimes love isn't enough, Cole. Love isn't enough. Enough what? You didn't explain, Dorian. <sighs> I was rather hoping I had. His face in the stands, watching as I passed the test. So proud, there's tears in his eyes. Anything to make him happy. Anything. Why isn't that true anymore? Oh, this... is not the sort of discussion for walking around. Please drop it. I only wanted what was best for you. You wanted the best for you. You tried to change me. I'm hurting you, Dorian. Words winding, wanting, wounding. You said I could ask. I know I did. The things you ask are just very personal. But it hurts. I want to help, but it's all tangled with the love. I can't tug it loose without tearing it. You hold him so tightly. You let it keep hurting because you think hurting is who you are. Why would you do that? Can someone tell him to stop? Banish him back to the Fade or something? Cole, it's time to back off. I'm sorry. I keep making it worse. No. I'm sorry. Of course you don't understand. Just leave me with it for now. I've been trying to imagine how to explain it to you, Cole. The thing is, sometimes the ones you love are also the ones who disappoint you the most. You think that if they love you, they should understand. They shouldn't want to hurt you. So you feel betrayed. You say things you can't ever take back. Get out. You are no son of mine. Yes. Like that. He wishes he hadn't meant it.